Hello students, I am Ebosele Angela and I am your civic education teacher for today. We will be talking about HIV AIDS. At the end of this lesson, students should be able to know the full meaning of HIV, the full meaning of AIDS, the year that the first case of HIV in Nigeria was officially reported, and then students will be able to list three early HIV symptoms and three later stages of HIV and why HIV is called a syndrome. Let's get to it. What is HIV? HIV is an acronym for Human Immunodeficiency Virus. The human has an immune system that helps kick out infections. Once immune system kicks out infections the way a house protects somebody from the rain. Imagine being in a house when it's raining. Your house protects you from the rain and that is exactly what your immune system does. HIV is a virus that attacks the body's defense immune system. HIV enters the body and gradually breaks down the immune system the same way termites destroys a wood. The first case of HIV in Nigeria was officially reported in 1986. Note that a lot of people often mistake HIV for AIDS, but they are not the same. AIDS means Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. It is called a syndrome because it consists of several diseases. Most AIDS patients have more than one disease at any given time. Each disease produces its own signs and symptoms. Now you might be wondering, what is the difference between HIV and AIDS? HIV slowly attacks and destroys the immune system and leaves the body vulnerable to a variety of other infections that causes death. But when the immune system can no longer protect the body from infections, a person has AIDS. And such person can be killed by the common cold or just fever. Therefore, a person cannot actually die of AIDS, but it can be killed by a disease that you are unable to fight off because of AIDS. Now let's look at the early signs or symptoms of HIV. Some people experience signs and symptoms of HIV as soon as they become infected, while others do not. When that occurs, early signs and symptoms are mistaken for flu or a mild viral infection. Initial signs and symptoms of HIV include fever, headache, tiredness, diarrhea, or and enlarged lymph nodes in the neck and other parts of the body. Later signs and symptoms of HIV include rapid weight loss, dry cough, recurring fever or profuse night sweats, profound and unexplained fatigue, swollen lymph glands in the armpits groin and neck, diarrhea lasting for more than a week. Now, if you have these symptoms, that does not necessarily mean that you have contacted HIV or AIDS. It might just be another sickness. You should visit your doctor and not self-medicate. In summary, students, HIV is an acronym for Human Immunodeficiency Virus, while AIDS, on the other hand, means Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome, and it is a viral disease. The HIV slowly attacks the immune system and leaves the body vulnerable to a variety of infections and causes death. While the AIDS is called a syndrome because it consists of several diseases, early signs and symptoms are fever, headache, tiredness and the later signs and symptoms include rapid weight loss and dry cough. By now, you should have known the full meaning of HIV, the full meaning of AIDS, the difference between HIV and AIDS, the year that the first case of HIV in Nigeria was officially reported, the three early HIV symptoms and the three later stage of HIV and why AIDS is called a syndrome. Thank you, students, and see you in the next class.